I remember when I went cold approaching for the first time. And that's essentially when you see a girl that you think is attractive, and you try to talk to her, and you try to get her number. I'm with my friend, and we've been walking around for an entire hour, bro. And we've literally spoken to no one, no girls at all, zero, nada. And the entire time I'm walking around, I'm seeing girls, yo, I, I should go talk to her, I should go talk to her. And I don't do anything, bro. My heart is beating so fast, bro. I'm so nervous. I am so scared. And after an hour, bro, I'm getting fed up. I didn't come out here to talk to no one and make no progress at all. So I turned to my friend and I'm like, yo, I saw this thing online. This guy, he took like $100 out and he gave it to his friend and he only got $20 back every time he went and approached a girl. So I pull out my wallet and I take out my money but instead of a hundred dollars there's eleven dollars in ones and my friend's looking at me and he's like bro that is not motivating at all bro <laughs> i'm like damn so he reaches out to grab it but then i move my hand away and he's like what's what's going on i'm like yo if i give you this money that means i actually have to go and approach a girl and my friend he just looks at me with such a high level of disappointment on his face yo dale look over there i turn my head and he snatches the money out my hand and then i i, I realize like all right bro i gotta lock in now I gotta lock in. I do a little bit of walking around for a few minutes, but then I see the girl that I'm gonna talk to. She's all the way at the top of a staircase, sitting on a chair, reading a book or, or on her phone or something, right? And I'm looking at her and I know this is it, bro. This is it. I have to do this. I literally have to get this done. So I start walking up these steps. And as soon as I do, my entire body wants to turn back. Every step that I take, it's like the air is getting thicker. My heart is beating faster. It just gets harder and harder, but I keep moving forward forward, bro. I am getting this done. It's been a whole hour. I don't want to lose my $11, bro. I can buy the battle pass with that, bro. I need to get this done. So I finally approach this girl and my heart is beating like the fastest it's ever been. And I managed to say, excuse me, I saw you and I wanted to talk to you. And I'll never forget what happened next. She had her AirPods in. She was on her phone doing something, right? But she looked up at me and she smiled. She locked in. She took her AirPods out. She put her phone down. She was looking at me. And I could tell she was excited to have this conversation with me. And this was the exact opposite scenario that I had imagined. I literally, as I was walking up to this girl, I imagined her like slapping me in the face. Like, yo, what are you doing? You weirdo, you freaking weirdo. What are you doing? This was the exact opposite scenario bro she was locked in i was like whoa 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 I, I was so surprised i mean i was already nervous before but now i was like super nervous i didn't expect this at all and then i just like i started saying some random stuff at this point i looky like ruined the conversation entirely i was like oh yeah uh oh it's, it's been nice some nice weather isn't it today like bro like i, I didn't think that was real i didn't think people actually said that bro that was npc moment nice weather huh like oh man terrible bro and because i'm feeling so awkward right now the conversation becomes super awkward so i decide like yo i, I gotta get out of here bro loki i gotta dip bro so I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, you know, it was nice talking to you. I just, you know, I just saw you want to talk to you. Yeah, have a good one, right? And I walk away from that, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> bro, I walk up to my friend. I get my $11 back, and I'm like, yo, I did that, bro. I did that. And it really filled me with hope for the future. It really changed my mind. I realized, like, yo, I can actually do this. I can actually go and cold approach girls and, and actually have success if I just lock in and get it done, right? And you'd think that after that experience, I would go out and do it again, but I actually never did it again. And because I never did it again, I never got good at talking to girls so i would just be walking around campus seeing a bunch of girls i want to talk to and i would never talk to them and i had to ask myself why why didn't i go out and, and and get better at this skill and i like to compare it to the idea of the three hour workout when you first start going into the gym and you try to do this crazy workout with all these exercises the greatest pump of your life the most disciplined workout ever and you're feeling super good super great but then the next day you're dumb sore and the idea the thought of going back into the gym and doing that all again literally every day for the rest of your life that's too much to bear so of course you don't do it the next day and then you miss that day and then you miss the next day and then so on right and then you're just falling off again i realized i did the exact same thing going up to that girl and approaching her was literally like the scariest thing i had done in my entire life it literally took an entire hour to do that bro like come on bro that's, that's dire right and i realized like that experience in my mind was such a difficult thing it was a memory filled with so much pain and awkwardness and fear and the idea of, of doing that every day or, or getting into that was so so difficult for me so a few months later now i'm realizing like okay i want to get back into this i want to start cold approaching girls but i realize i have to do it in a way that's actually sustainable that i can keep up because i don't want to just talk to a girl once every few months i actually want to talk to girls on a daily basis but how can i get myself to do that well it's just like the gym you have to start small and you have to slowly add up over time you don't just start with the heaviest weight no you build it up over time so i decided to invite a bunch of my friends to cold approach with me and i decided we're not going to do anything special no riz nothing man we're going to keep it simple all of us 
us are gonna approach five girls and we're just gonna ask them a simple question. Hi, excuse me, do you know what time it is? My, my watch is dead, my phone is dead. Do you know the directions to the library? Do you know the directions to the rec center? Super simple, super easy. And my friends, you know, we were all kind of scared to do it, but in our minds, we kind of thought like, it's just asking for directions, it's asking a simple question, bro. Of course we can go and do that. So even though it was scary, we were able to do it and it felt completely fine and we were just, we felt really confident afterwards. But my friend, he locked in. I had my camera and I was recording him going up talking to this girl. You know where the library is? I, like my phone died. So I... And then he literally just starts walking away, he and the girl. And I'm like, yo, where are they going, right? So all my friends, we're just sitting there watching him and the girl walk away and they're gone for like 10 minutes. And we have no idea what, like, what just happened? And he finally comes back and he's like, yo, 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 y'all never guess what happened. We're like, yo, what happened, what happened? I approached this girl and I told her that my phone was dead and I didn't know where the library was. And then she said, I'll take you there. So we, we start walking, we start talking. So I start getting to know her. And then I accidentally pull my phone out. And she's like, yo, what's that? What's that? What's that? And bro, I start getting like so stressed, so stressed. But then I lock in. I'm, I tell her, I'm gonna be honest. I was lying. I just saw you and I thought you were cute and I wanted to talk to you. And she was feeling it, bro. Yeah, yeah. All my friends were like, yo, W, W, bro. My friend, he got her number and they literally went on a date. Hearing my friend say all that, I got so inspired. I felt like I could do that myself. I could be the Rizzler as well, bro. I just gotta lock in, bro. I can do that too. I looked at all my friends and I'm like, all right, bet. We're doing this again, same time next week. And that, that day is today. I'm about to go again today. I'm about to Riz up today for real this time. Yes, sir. No more asking for directions. If you've been wanting to be more confident with girls, bro, I get it, bro. It's, it's, so, it's so awkward. It's so nervous. It's so scary. But I want you to know that you can do it, bro. Just start small, literally. Go ask a girl. You could do this tomorrow. You could do this today. Ask a girl a simple question. Like, do you have the homework? Do you know where this place is? Anything, bro, literally anything. I had this mindset where if I want to talk to girls, I have to, it has to be this certain way. I have to like rizz her up, get her Instagram, anything, all, all this crazy stuff. But that's like level 10 and I'm still at level one. I'm not even talking to girls. I see girls all the time, but I'm not talking to any of them. So literally going up to a girl, saying hi, waving at a girl, any, any simple little interaction, that's a step in the right direction. That's some little XP, that's leveling up. And it seems like literally nothing. Oh yeah, I I, I said hello to five girls today. No one's gonna be like, oh yeah, that, that's super cool. You're the Rizzler, ha ha ha. No one's gonna say that, but it doesn't matter. It's a step in the right direction. It's a step towards your goal. If you're not taking these steps, these small incremental steps to becoming more confident, it's gonna be like you're facing a gigantic wall full of obstacles, fear, doubt, low confidence. You're awkward. You don't know how to talk to people. Like you're facing all these things all at once. So you gotta somehow climb this giant wall and you don't want to fall you because you know you're gonna die right but if you take the little steps saying hello to people starting little conversations asking simple questions and you build your confidence up slowly you'll get there and it'll be fun it'll be genuinely exciting because you're progressing at a pace that's right for you that's sustainable and you're not gonna burn out I want you to take a moment to visualize something with me imagine you're out with your friends you're having a good time hanging out in the city or whatever and you see the most beautiful the most gorgeous girl you've ever seen in your life and what do you do next you get up and you start walking towards her and you talk to her and you're confident and she's she's messing with you. She's, she's, she's liking the vibe and then you get her number and then you get to go on a date with her a few, in a few days. Imagine that scenario, bro. And then imagine the opposite scenario where you're with your friends and you see a gorgeous girl that you wanna to talk to you and she walks right past and you don't say anything. And for days, you're literally imagining, what if I did that? What if I talked to that girl? Only, if only, if only. And then a few years pass and every single day you see girls that you wanna to talk to and you never talk to them. And one day you're literally 40 years old and everyone else, all your friends, they're, they're starting to get married and everything. And you, you've you never gone and, and pushed yourself to talk to girls, to meet new people. That's like the saddest life I could possibly imagine for myself. Good girls that you would love to talk to, love to go on a date with, they come around every single day, but we're too scared to talk to them, too scared to make that first step, that first interaction. But we can do it. You can do it, bro. You can get there. You just have to believe in yourself and take that first step. If you want some personal help from me with improving your social skills, click the first link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah!